um, with the with the Ryu this time instead of Ken. Surprising. Three, two, yeah. Go. Oh, this is three of five, huh? Oh man. Oh, quick sure you just to put extra damage on there though. Even though it was a heavy, it was a uh, it was more of a max out situation right there because he'd be able to switch off. But I think he's gonna go for shields right pushing in when he gets a chance. No, they're about the same more or less. The only thing the difference between them on, on a oh, but was able to get him off the switch off the shield or what was it? I thought he had switched the shield, right? Being able to go to quick focus though, man. Smart transition between Nito how he does that. Being able to come back though, didn't use his jump yet though. Quick focus. Putting it being able to get the Yeah, like these these are characters that you don't often see a lot. So it, with Ken and Ryu, how the way it is. Oh I'm sorry, Nico, I'm sorry. Nito, Nico, my bad, my fault, my fault. Another story to finish it off though. Are we gonna see a three stock though on our number what number five PR player? I'm sorry. <laughs> Gain that shield pushing right there though. You can I mean, you can transition whenever they put in shield. You want to put a good oh but most max damage with the shore you on that able to touch in like that because he gets a focus hit and to quick shore you. Give it your all. Disgusting. No, I mean the difference, like I said, like the difference between Ken and Ryu for the most part though, Ryu has a harder knockback, like more launch power. Ken does more damage. And get him out of my way, spacing. But yeah, because a lot of a lot of uh, reuse attacks will always just launch you, will just knock you back a little bit harder than it should. Three, two, Going with FD one, scenario. Go. Are you eight? Are you eight? Yeah, we do. That was good though. Putting in two quick jabs though, just matching it up right there though. Uh, I personally am not for sure on it though. I haven't actually seen a record score on them or how they've actually played. Oh, being able to come back though. Didn't waste his jump though. Oh, but Nico wasn't able to come back though. So it was a risk factor when it came to that scenario. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh, but killing off right there with the big smash. Yeah. So the good thing that, that Nido's trying to do right now is bait off field, bait off shield Monado because he wants to be able to use this so you can just do, keep doing low kicks. Quick low kicks real quick to match up as much as you can. But he's also trying to have, you can also have to time off that meter because you're not going to be a lot of knockback, but you're going to be doing a lot of damage. You're already at 105 though, two and two stocks right now. Nino had the advantage not too long ago, but there's a forward smash on there to take it off. Oh, man, should I try to reverse it on the scenario? Drop it off, though. Oh, but with a footstool, though. Oh, be... Hey, thanks for following you guys on there, though. <laughs> Yeah, you know, whatever you want. 2019, bro. Whatever you want. Oh, man. With, with the turnaround, though. I thought he had switched to Smash Attack. I was wondering why he went so high. Oh, yeah. Those true, those true Hadoukens right there. Big 
crap out of that one. Oh. Yeah, that speed and smash attack, I think. That's where it is. Oh, but the focus is able to get down like that with a quick smash attack. Oh, it turns around. That focus attack just, I think it just traded hard because because that ba that back here is actually two hits. It's not one, it's two hits. So that, that first one should have been able to knock off and the second one should have just destroyed it right out of it. You're going back to FD right now, Suzuka's Castle though. I think you can see what song you should play. It sounds like, uh, sounds like Vegas. But I can't hear it. <laughs> Yeah, well, one and one stock right now, though. Man, dude, I really, Ryu and Ken look so good in this game, unlike they do in like Street Fighter. They... Nah, okay, uh, Ken, Ken is going, uh, Nito's not going with Ken right now, though. Obviously, how we were just talking about earlier, if you had joined us earlier on the stream right now, he's going with Ryu because he knows that whenever he can trans, when, uh, when, uh, when Nico trans, trans, like, was it, uh, changes Monados, goes to speed or, like, smash attack, uh, Ryu has a much larger knockback power than Ken. So he wants to just be able to just knock him back as hard as he can with whatever he can at lower percentages that obviously the uh, a heavy short you or a true short you from Ken you can just kill so much faster than you can with uh with Ken. But from Ryu than Ken. Like just like that when it comes to scenario like that. Cause that shouldn't kill. Yeah. Killing off right there at that three and one stock though. The thing is, Nico is actually like doing really better on this match setup, obviously compared to how it was in game one and two, because he's keeping his distance. He's respecting the shield and the pressure that Nito can do on him. Changing the speed, oh. Yeah. Almost any attack that I'm aware of from Ken and Ryu are all attack cancel. A back air can special cancel as well. Oh, there you go. Catching in right now, though. But 2 and one stock, though. Nito having a lot of work, yeah. Oh, trying to change it up, though. Trying to catch like that. You know, it's like trying to catch a Captain Falcon punch. That's what it is right there. Good focus on that one. Oh, with the overhead though, having the low profile though, Jay can't really throw on. The us match though with a quick pickup though. Two one right now, Nico's favor. At this, let's see what I mean though, that whenever he goes to shield though, he's a little bit heavier so he can be able to just combo kick continuously until he gets out of it. Oh, but he didn't get this, if he had done a true Shoryu, that would have been able to combo so good into that. Nito doing so much better on this one though because like I said he has switched back to Ken now because now he has the combo game to be able to break it in now. Jump. 
Yeah, I think I think it's from stage uh, stage two. It has a lot has a long power for it. But anything like that though. Nico taking first stock though. Nico's at 118 though. This is putting a lot of pressure on that. Yeah. Knocked that guy there though, using the Tatsu overhead. Yeah, we're having a small crowd gather up though, man. They just want to see it do a good, good game, especially because you got one PR player top 10. Oh, but being able to save him. Oh, but he doesn't tank off that scenario right there. I think it's because Nito, Nito when he had done that true short, he to recover. It's a multi hit, so he, got, he probably got hit, like spiked off the platform multiple times. No, but two and one right now. Nito's favorite right now by having being able to stock. He's at 102 though, but almost anything can be able to kill him. Nito, that's the thing though. Nico just uh, be able to do like a quick, oh, nasty back air just like that though. Something to chase him off. Oh, but he foot steal. Oh no, he's there to catch it though. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Quick flinch. And we're sitting on chairs though, so that means a lot. <laughs> just so looks so funny, just jogging back and forth though. Nasty up by his shield though. Probably switch out. Are you going for smash attack? Oh, but quick back throw. Speed. Yeah, camping out a speed Monado real quick though. Trying to chase him into a corner though, being able to get those low kicks right there, poke the shield. Doing so good being able to like just transition between getting inside his space. Yeah. Oh, nasty back air though, coming back for the jump though. Oh, but I thought he wasn't gonna make it, man. It always scares me. Nico goes so, so low. Haven't wasted his jump yet though. Oh, oh man, if we would have been able to attach the back air, yeah. Has almost no Monado right now though. So, oh, never mind, he just recovered. It's like by 18 to 20 seconds, they'll be able to recover most of the Monados on each one though. Trying not to see if he's gonna throw a quick shore you out though. Oh, but he challenged it though. He wanted to wait on it though. That was a good call from both players on both ends though, but it could have gone both ways on any way. 